Rocky Mount Holony from swarming. My goodness, is that a deep subject or what? That's a that's a important topic for all beekeepers, regardless of whether you're new or very well it established. Is. And that we recognize that a colony that wants to swarm is a healthy colony. Mm -hmm. It's doing exactly what nature calls for it to do. Mm -hmm. It's making a split. That's right. It's, it's, it's perpetuating the species. It's doing its thing. That's right. But as beekeepers, typically that's the last thing we want to happen. So we need a plan in place. We, we need to understand what the key indicators are that cause a swarm, understand how to address those issues, how to identify them if it gets away from us. Mm -hmm. And that takes us to the next step of managing that. That's right. So I'm going to put that as your last statement as number one priority, good hive management. Get a hive inspection schedule, stick to it. If you're in there managing your colony, checking it every other week, even bi-weekly or weekly if you need to, and verifying that you have the space correct in the bee to box ratio. If there's too many bees for that one box, they're gonna swarm. If she runs out, if she being the queen runs out of room, they're gonna start making swarm preparation. It takes two plus weeks for swarm preparations to occur from start to finish to swarm, start to swarm. So you've got time to make uh, adjustments. So good hive management, stick to it and stay with it. And then watch, like you said, watch for those indicators, yeah, the hive space. Hive management encompasses primarily understanding what we're seeing within a colony, yeah. understanding yeah. how that's impacted by the time of year. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about swarm is also a split. Yeah, it is. Splits therefore become a very important aspect of hive management and swarm prevention. A healthy colony is going to swarm. It, it, either it's going to be a natural swarm or right. it's going to be a swarm that occurs, it's controlled by the beekeepers. So um, That's right. manipulating our frames, managing the colony, understanding what the bees are telling us and understanding what the time of year is. Are we in increase, are we in decrease? Um, where are we, what are the bees saying to us? We do an article in one of our past magazines that says, Bees don't talk or do they? <laughs> bees do talk, bees tell a story. And that's what our management skills we hopefully develop into. Got to read their indicators. We do the space indicator, their population increase indicator. Making those splits and splits are really your best way to prevent a swarm. At the right time of year, making splits in spring, making splits in the fall, keeping the, the bees proportionate to their space where, um, and plus growing your apiary is the other benefit. Why in the world would I want the population to go in the tree when I can keep that double my hives in my bee yard? Make that swarm go into the bee yard and not into the trees or your neighbor's soffit. That another, could be a problem. Another important aspect <clears throat> of preventing hives from swarming can be, can be uh, directly related to uh, the uh, creation of splits. When we made a split, we not only reduced the population and spread it out, but we also added a new queen. Yes. So new queen, requeening uh, is huge. We, we encourage the development of a, a queen replacement schedule mm -hmm. as part of your management. At least uh, yearly. Requeening yeah. colonies is such a, a, a a fascinating and, and very important aspect of swarm prevention. Well, what is it we know about new queens? Their propensity to swarm is like nil. She's geared to, she, she's ready. She's young, she's ready to go, ready to lay eggs. That's all that she's focused on, growing the colony. It is not her uh, goal to divide and conquer. That comes with that second year or later queen. So if you get on a requeen every year schedule, that's a good, good we, way to get started. We have some friends who manage their colonies by using slatted racks. Oh, yeah, slatted rack, if not, if not familiar with it, you can look it up in the catalogs. Mm -hmm. uh, slatted rack goes on the bottom mm -hmm. of your, your uh, initial brood box mm -hmm. and it expands the space that the brood nest has yeah. to hang down below. That's right. And uh, during, during periods of growth, slatted racks can be very important. It can it be a can. great accessory to add to your, your overall inventory. Yeah, it really can, good idea. Something else that's really important, this could go on forever, but it's, it's very important to, uh, once you recognize, you may see overcrowding occurring, uh, it's very easy to, to move and or remove honey frames. Mm -hmm. Honey uh, impacts it. It the is. brood nest dramatically. If, uh, if, if the queen is wanting to grow out and you've got honey frames in one, two, and nine and 10, and they're trying to grow into three and, and eight, and, 
and all of a sudden your nest is shrinking, but the, uh, the, the queen wants it to expand. Those are the indicators you look, one of the indicators that you look for. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so easy just to move those frames. And you, you know, have that queen space. You say move frames, that's another, uh, that was a segue to taking a frame or two and putting it in a colony that needs it. That can also Isn't buy that? you space, get you space. Um, you know, that's that robbing Peter to pay Paul. We use that all the time. And having multiple colonies, there's always the one, always going to be at least one that could use that resource. So pull a frame of bees and all and put it in that other colony that could use it. That could reduce the population down, kind of balance that space again and get you good for the go. The uh, swarming occurs during the spring, during mm -hmm. the nectar flow, as, yep. as it's growing and, and getting stronger and stronger and stronger, coming out of winter in that colony we see is, is, has the, the, the need to grow. Uh, quite often coming out of winter, our boxes are in, the, in, in inappropriate conditions, mm -hmm. not a position, I should say, and that our bees moved up from the bottom box of a double deep mm -hmm. into the top box, and they're not gonna move back down typically. Not usually. So one of the management tools for swarm prevention coming out of winter is a box reversal. Swam. And that's given our colony 10 new frames to move mm -hmm. into. It is. It is. That's good enough. idea. All good points.